If I use my own saliva, can I give myself herpes? This is Reed Mahalko from readaboutsex.com. What a great question, Kathy Vartuli from the intimacydojo.com. So this person wrote in that they were using their own saliva as lube, mm -hmm. and they have herpes one, mm -hmm. oral herpes, and they were wondering if they, they can, can give, give it to themselves down there. I don't know. America, internet, the world. Give us some information. Who's got a, who, who's going to Google this? Um, I would get, if they had it in their mouth and they were shedding, I would think I, possibly. I have never heard of somebody who had HSV-1 or HSV-2. There's, 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 there's actually a lot of different kinds of, of uh, variations of, of the herpes virus. Mm -hmm. But the two that, that we talk about in sex ed, herpes 1, HSV 1, HSV 2, um, I have, and one used to be mostly located, it would be the one they would call oral herpes, two would be genital herpes. Um, nowadays, you can have two orally, you can have one um, genitally speaking, but I don't think I've ever met anyone who has herpes outbreaks in in several locations. Mm -hmm. So it's either orally or genitally. Some people get herpes on their ass um, and you can't get herpes up by your eyes. Uh, but generally speaking, I don't think I've ever met anybody with the same uh, herpes one or herpes two in two locations. I, I know people who, who have herpes one and two mm -hmm. And those are in different locations. So I've never heard of anybody with herpes one and two, both of them orally either. So, but if you have, please let us know. Yeah, like this is a question for the internet. What a great yeah. question. Well, and they say also they went on to say they they are they're in school and they don't want to get tested because they don't want their classmates to know about it. But there are ways to get tested without other people finding out. Yeah, if you're concerned. you can. You can. You don't have to go to health services. I mean, if you're in school, um, assuming this isn't high school, right? Like colleges, you can usually go get your S STD tests at health services. Um, there's some home testing kits, although uh, I don't believe there's a home, t a home testing kit for herpes that I know of. Mm -hmm. uh, I could be wrong. Internets, let us know. And um, you could, if you have the funds, pay for uh, an STD check, uh, or, you know, checkup panel, um, at a, a local lab where they do that. So stdexpress.com um, I think is, yep. is a place where you can find a place <laughs> in your neighborhood if you can pay for a, a panel and they will do herpes. That's, uh, that's a couple hundred That's a couple yeah. hundred dollars. Some communities have testing. free testing places, but most free testing places don't do herpes um, unless you're having an outbreak. And, um, and then the outbreak is only going to let them confirm that it is indeed what you have, but it's not going to tell you, it's not going to answer the actual question that we started with. Yeah. Um, so yeah, um, we have to do some research and we'll get back to you all. Uh, and I'm sure that some really smart, uh, type happy folks are going to actually give us lots of great answers as well. Um, if you're somebody you know, who's giving us non-medically accurate information. Or advertising some quick cure. Yeah, the, please stop, please stop. Let's answer the question here that we need to answer. Um, and uh, if I can ask you, please um, back up your science. And, and by science, I mean science with a capital S, not science that we haven't proven yet. Mm -hmm. Okay, can we all do that? Thanks. Thanks very much for the question. Condoms, oh my God. I mean, uh, comments, not condoms, but condoms too. Thanks for watching. <laughs> if you'd like to subscribe to my social media, it's right there. <laughs> and please subscribe to this channel there. <laughs> if you'd like to see more Goofy, Reed and Kathy, there's more videos there. I can see them. Why are they there?